know I have a very exciting day and it is Valentine's Day so happy belated Valentine's Day by the time you guys are watching this but it is a very fun day it's not that sunny out it's a little bit gloomy but I have my headshots today so it's exciting for me so headshots are basically necessary for anything in the entertainment industry it's just supposed to be a professional super simple straight on photo of your face or you know your body just trying to get a little bit of your personality but mainly capture what you look like um super simple so for today i actually yay will be getting my hair and makeup done which is always super exciting but yeah they probably will still just be doing super simple super light makeup but i'm gonna take you guys with me along for the day and show you a little bit of the process of what it's like to get headshots taken for acting and auditioning. So the first step in the process is obviously booking the photo shoot. Um, this does not come with the auditioning and acting process. You need to find your own photographer or get one recommended by your agent or manager or just a friend. Really anything works, but you wanna make sure that you're gonna be able to use a professional camera and book these headshots and um, and then you're gonna want to you know kind of decide what what kind of roles you're aiming for so for me I'm 19 years old so I'll be going for high school college girls um, 19 year old 18 year old girls so I chose my outfits based on that uh, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing but I chose like a little blue tank top um, once again, like I said, simple, just so they can see kind of my face, my skin, my coloring, um, my body type, things like that. And then I also get two looks today. So I get, I did the blue tank top for one. And then another one that I'll show you guys, I think I'm going to do this coral pinkish long sleeve to kind of give the contrast as opposed to the darker simple blue, um, a pop of color for my commercial looks as opposed to my TV and film look. So far I've woken up, I had some coffee, breakfast, did some homework, did a little to-do list, and I also took a shower because I wanted fresh, clean, curly hair, and it's not looking too bad today. I did my curly hair routine, um, but yeah, and then I also washed my face, did a little bit of my skincare so that I'm ready to go to be on camera. I'm still pretty much in my pajamas for the day, just some sweatpants and a t-shirt, uh, cozy clothes, but I'm gonna get dressed in my jeans and my first outfit soon. And like I said, I get my makeup and hair done there, so I'm just showing up bare face, but I will show up with my first outfit on. And then I will get there, I'll start getting ready, and I'm so excited. So this is look number one. I'm just wearing some Zara mom jeans, a little Brandy Melville light blue baby tank. I just have this black cardigan on for warmth right now, but I will probably only be shooting in the tank top. And then I have my docks on because it's cold and snowy. And then I'm gonna wear my parka and my mask, of course. And then we'll be on the way. I have a little lunch smoothie and I have my coat on. I have my bags and I'm out the door on my way to the Uber. I'm in the Uber and we're on the way to the shoot. Wish me luck. So I've arrived in Brooklyn, I'm at the address. Um, I'm a couple minutes early, so I'm just gonna finish my juice, get myself ready, and then go inside and start getting my makeup done. And makeup is done. It looks good. Mm -hmm. I love it. So 
I just finished the shoot. Um, I wasn't filming obviously too much because I was shooting, but at least I got to show you guys what the studio looked like. And now I'm about to Uber home and just kind of finish my day and do what I have to do for school. I just got back to my dorm. I unfortunately have no plans for the rest of the day, but my hair and makeup is done and I'm feeling cute and Dana's doing her laundry and it's Valentine's Day, so we're probably gonna treat ourselves to dinner and dessert later. But for now, I have to get a good head start on this week's homework. But I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on the process of taking headshots. These headshots will be used for mainly auditioning purposes, such as commercial, TV, and film. They're put on my reel and my managers and agents um, send them out to different casting directors for different projects. And based on my headshots, they choose who they want to come see audition and read the script. So that is why it's always important to have updated photos of yourself for headshot purposes. And that is why I did that today and what these photos will be used for. However, I do like to post them on my Instagram. Rena Durham is a super talented photographer and also has an Instagram if you wanna check her out. I'll be posting the um, final results on my page and I'll definitely be tagging her. So stay tuned in the next couple weeks on my Instagram and TikTok at Chloe5Lang and Chloe Max Lang if you wanna see how these photos from today's video came out. I'm super excited to see them, and like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what the process of getting headshots is like. But thank you so much for watching today's video. It means so much to me, and I really hope you guys enjoyed once again. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with some friends if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your week. Love you!